Hello and welcome. I'm Ganesh Pohrel and today I'm going to talk about regional spatial planning in the context of Vietnam. Uh, regional spatial planning basically means spatial planning on regional scale. Spatial planning is an interdisciplinary field that deals with spatial arrangements and development of living, working and environmental conditions. Well, the regional planning deals with the efficient placement of land use activities, infrastructure and settlement growth across a larger area of land than an individual city or town. So what should we expect from regional spatial planning? Uh, it helps establish a spatial vision and studies is specific to the region. For example, uh, identifying in general terms areas for development or regeneration for a period of about 20 or 30 years ahead contribute to the achievement of sustainable development, establish a regional, um, regionally specific policies which are expected to add value rather than uh, replicate national ones. And there are many more areas uh, that it contributes. Uh, regional spatial planning in terms of Vietnam. Uh, first, let us talk about the administrative structure of Vietnam. It has 58 provinces and five centrally controlled municipalities. Provinces are further divided into provincial municipalities, townships and counties, where, which are further divided into towns and wards. And those five centrally controlled municipalities are further divided into districts and counties, which are then divided into wards. Uh, a very unique practice of federalism can be seen in Vietnam. In Vietnam, uh, regional spatial planning is not as specifically defined as in Europe or in the case of Germany. Rather, it is incorporated in some laws like the Law on Planning, the Construction Law and the Vietnam Building Code. The Ministry of Construction is responsible for the formulation, execution and implementation of the law. As per Law on Planning, the hierarchy of planning is defined as um, the national planning comes at the top and uh, regional planning uh, comes then after, then provincial planning, uh, special administrative economic unit planning, and uh, at the end, uh, urban planning, rural planning comes. Uh, that is to say that regional planning should be developed in line with national plans. It should be, it should not be confronting and with the national plans, and uh, the same applies to provincial and other planning. For example, for the preparation of detailed city plans, uh, first of all, um, uh, first of all, a master plan or a national plan should be prepared, and the Ministry of Construction is responsible to prepare the regional plans, and then the city authorities or province, uh, provincial authorities are responsible to pre create the master plans for cities or province, and then detailed plan of cities, ward, or industry zones or development projects are prepared at the end. So, what should uh, regional spatial planning include? Uh, law on planning defined that it should include analysis and assessment of factors, natural conditions, specific resources, uh, special resources of the region, uh, viewpoints and objectives for the regional development, uh, orientations to development of key sectors of the region for uh, plans for development, arrangement, selection and provision of resources for development with the region. For example, if there is a need for economic zones, industrial parks, high-tech parks, or tourism area, regional spatial planning will take care of it uh, in line with national plans. Uh, law and planning has further defined the scope for the plans. That is to say uh, that the national planning has a scope of 30 to 50 years period, uh, while regional planning and provincial planning has a scope of 30, 20 to 30 years uh, period. So, who is responsible for this all? So, uh, the Prime Minister shall organize formulations of regional planning. Uh, the planning authorities shall take charge and cooperate with relevant municipalities. Uh, uh, procedure for formulations of regional planning. And then the Prime Minister shall establish a planning appraisal council to appraise the, uh, the regional planning. Uh, the Ministry of Planning and investment shall assist the implementations of the regional planning. Uh, so at, uh, at the last, uh, and at last, uh, when there are laws, there will certainly be amendments to them, even though the Ministry of Construction is responsible for all these laws relating to regional spatial planning, 
there are certain areas of conflict between those laws which the Ministry of Construction is reviewing on it, or probably it has completed it, uh, but because of limited access of or access to resources and limited time, I could not put all those information in it uh, on it. So I would like to ask for an excuse and thank you for watching this videos. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you.